Hi, my name is Eric Jensen, and I'm the Outreach Coordinator for the Rangeland Analysis Platform. And today I have the privilege to present to all of you on behalf of our team at University of Montana. And I will jump right into it. So today I'm going to be presenting on a new tool that we've just released called the Production Explorer. And this tool can be used to address a few key questions that Tanya and Julie identified for this session. In particular, you can look at production extremes and understand year-to-year -year variability. You can assess the current forage situation and how that compares to previous years and long-term averages. And it can help you to bound your expectations in terms of how much production you might have for this year. Before we get started, I want to just talk about the Rangeland production data set within RAP that this tool really uh, leverages. And so this data set uh, basically provides maps of perennial herbaceous production and annual herbaceous production uh, in terms of perennial plants and annual plants, I should say. And it does so at an annual time step and every 16 days. And so this allows you to look at production on a year-to-year -year basis and also to see within a given year uh, when production occurred, whether it was early or late or whatever. And so with the Production Explorer, we're really just diving deeply into this data set. And so to get started, all you have to do is define your region of interest. And you can do that by either uploading a shapefile or a KML from Google Earth, or you can draw a feature interactively in the interactive map. Once you do that, you just need to click Calculate Time Series, and the uh, app will go and get the data for your analysis. The only other thing that you can do here is to alter the uh, analysis period. And so by default, we look at the most recent 20 years. But if you'd like, you can change that to look at a 35-year period or the most recent 10 years or something like that. Once you've done this, you're ready to get started, and we can start looking at the current year production. Because we're in February right now, and not a lot has happened this year in terms of production, I've, I'm going to give an example from uh, the Los Canyons region of Nebraska from last year at the end of June. And so you can see uh, that you'll get some summary statistics, basically how much uh, production has occurred relative to how much we would expect based on that long-term average and see that last year was a little bit above average at this time. You can then dive more deeply into the data, looking at uh, production on a continuous basis relative to these dashed lines, which indicate average in gray, above average in green, or below average in red. You can look at that same data in a cumulative kind of way, uh, which allows you to see exactly where you are in terms of production for this year relative to the long-term average. You can see that last year we were just below 125% uh, of that long-term average. You can also look at historical production. And so this allows you to really get a much better understanding of what is an average year, what is a good year, and what is a poor year. And so when we uh, plot this out, we can see how much production has occurred between 2001 and 2021 relative to these long-term average lines. And we can see how much variability there is uh, from year to year. And so here we can see that in a poor year, there's maybe 1,200 pounds per acre. In a good year, there's maybe 2,300 pounds per acre. And so it can help you to bound your understanding of how much variability there can be from year to year using uh, basically 35 years of satellite data to do so. If you want to export this report to either print or just save for your own records, we provide you the ability to do that as an Excel report. The last feature that I want to show you that I think will be most relevant to our discussion today is this stocking rate estimation. All you have to do to get started is to provide some basic uh, information about your stocking operation. And from that, you'll get a nice uh, summary of estimated stocking rates. You can see how uh, estimated stocking rates vary through time based on variability in production. Now, we're not recommending that you change your stocking rate from year to year. That wouldn't make sense. But this can help you to understand uh, how to set a conservative stocking rate to minimize your risk in those extreme, uh, extremely poor years. 
And then we also uh, basically pull back the curtain and show you exactly how we calculate the stocking rate using the data, the rangeland production data from the wrap. Just like with the production data, uh, we provide you the ability to export a stocking rate report as an Excel spreadsheet that you can reference later or print out and take into the field with you. And with that, I want to thank you for your time and attention, and I really look forward to the discussion a little bit later. Thanks.